this World Day of Remembrance for road traffic victims, our hearts go out to the loved ones of those killed and seriously injured on the world's roads. It is indeed a time to remember them. It's also time to acknowledge that much more must be done to avoid such tragedies. Today, is a day to remember. On the 20th anniversary of the World Day of Remembrance for road traffic victims, I remember. 26 years ago, I became a victim of a serious car accident. I was fortunate. I survived. I received good assistance and recovered from the coma and from the trauma. <laughs> Today is not just a tribute to victims, it is also a warning to us as a society that we still need to do much more to improve road safety. Each day, 370 people get injured and suffer life-changing consequences. Road safety is everyone's responsibility. I strongly encourage you to take a moment to remember the 1.25 million lives lost on the road every year, the 50 million more who are left seriously injured, and all the families and loved ones who are so tragically affected by road crashes. There are solutions to this human-made calamity. Countries must accelerate action to improve laws and enforcement on risks like speeding. This year's World Day of Remembrance highlights the fact that even after a road traffic crash occurs, there is an enormous opportunity to save lives and reduce disability. Countries can do this by providing timely emergency care, medical treatment, psychological support and rehabilitation for the injured. They should also investigate crashes and provide justice to the injured and bereaved.